Hey guys, it's CodeZealot, and I'm back with another video on the terminal on OS X. Now, as I said in the previous video, this will work for you also if you're on Linux, because basically we're on a Unix-based operating system here, so we're pretty much the same thing almost. Not exactly. You guys can all argue about that in the comments down below. Anyways, what we're going to look at today is the advanced navigation we talked about in the last video, and we use the cd command, change directory, and we use the ls command, list, to move around our computer's hard drive. And we also used pwd, if you remember what that was for, the printing of the working directory to see where we were. Now what we're going to do today is we're going to jump around our computer's hard drive, but we're going to do things in a little more advanced way. We're going to jump from, instead of going from one folder into the next, we're going to jump through several folders at once. So before we do that, I want to show you guys how to find out more about the commands we've already learned about. Now there's a command called man. And what this does is it basically brings up the manual page for whatever command you want to ask about. In this case, we're going to go ahead and look at ls for list. So if we type out man ls and press enter, we'll be given the manual for this command. Now, you can see there are a lot of different options here and a lot of information about this command, which is why the man command is so important. Pretty much we can learn anything we want to about any command on our computer and all of this stuff, we're not going to remember it on our own mind. As we use it more and more, we'll start to memorize more of it. But basically, we don't need to know all of this, and so we need a manual so we can consult it when we need to. Now, what we're going to look at first is this option right here called Dash 1. And basically, if you look at the description here, you can pretty much figure out what it does. It's going to show our output a little differently than it does by default. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Whoops, let's get out of this clear that, and see what happens when we use this new option. So if we just type out ls, we'll be given the list of the folders and files in this current directory. However, if we type out ls-1, we'll still be given the same output, however, the format is different. You can see that there is a new line after every single entry. And there's various reasons for doing this, one of which is if you're looking at a long list of files that are actually in numerical order by their titles, if the names of the files are actually in numerical order, this makes it a lot easier for myself to, to navigate through. But I'm sure there's hundreds of other reasons why you might want to do this. And for our example today, it's basically just to show you that there are different options with this command. Now, let's go ahead and look at another one of these options. I'm not going to bring up the manual page. You guys can do that on your own. Basically, what this is going to do is we're going to use dash A to show all of the files in this folder. Now... Isn't this interesting? Last time we did ls, we got very different output. Let's go ahead and put it below so we can compare. This time we have a lot of different options here above, different files and directories that have a period before them or a dot. These are called dot files and any file that has a dot in front of it is technically a hidden file. Did you guys know that? You have some hidden files on your computer. Now, most of the time, these are like configuration files, but there are various reasons why you might have a dot file in a certain spot, and we're not going to go into all of that. Basically, what we're showing you right now is that there are files that you can get to on your computer that you can't always find very easily because they're hidden. And you can do this through Finder, but it's way easier to do through the terminal. Now, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that I do mostly Minecraft videos. And a question I get asked all the time is, how can I get to my Minecraft folder? Well, the reason it's so hard to find is because it is in a hidden file. So there you go. There's the answer to why it's so hard to find. All right, let's get back to the subject here, and we're going to go ahead and use the man command one more time to check out the cd command that we've already learned the basics of. Now, this one you can see has some more information here, and we're not going to read it all. I just want to show you guys that there's a lot here that you can look at on your own, and I want to show you how you can get out of this man page, because once you're in it, you may not know how to get out. Now, all you have to do is press Q, and that will get you out of there. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the main subject of this video, which is how to use more advanced navigation. So let's figure out where we are. We're going to print the working directory, and we can see that we're in our home directory. Now let's go ahead and list our options here, and we're going to go ahead and move around here a little bit. So let's go ahead and jump into library. So if we do CD for change directory, and we're going to jump into library and press enter, we can now type out ls to see other options, and we can jump into some more of these folders. So let's go ahead and just pick one at random here. Let's go ahead and we're going to jump into application support because we use that one quite a bit. All right. 
Now you can see that we're several folders in here, and we might as well, you know what, we're, we're on, on a rampage here. Let's jump in one more time to another one. We're going to choose Firefox and type ls. Okay, so these are the options inside of our Firefox directory. And if we want to see the path of our files here, where we are, we can type out pwd, and we can see that we are in Users, Code Zealot, Library, Application Support, Firefox. All right. Here's the moment we've all been waiting for. We're going to use some advanced navigation. What if we want to jump back to the library directory, but we don't want to have to type out cd dot dot forward slash over and over? If you remember in the last video, we typed this out to go back one directory. So how can we go back more than one? Well, the default way of doing this is exactly this. We're just going to type this out a couple more times. So if we do this how it is, we're going to go back into application support and then back into library. If we press enter, type out pwd, we will see that we are actually back where we want to be in the library directory. So there you go. That's some more advanced navigation, how to jump backwards multiple files. Now you can also go forwards multiple files. If you remember here, we're back in library. If we type out cd and then we type out our application support and then we go ahead and type out Firefox, we can jump right into that. So if I can actually type here, we can get back there. So there we go. PWD, we're back in the Firefox folder. Now, if you remember, if we just type out CD, this will bring us right back to our home directory. And now we're back at our home. Now, I'll talk in a later video about what are called aliases. And essentially, you can make a way to jump multiple folders in a way that saves you some keystrokes and is more intuitive than typing a bunch of dots and forward slashes. So we'll look at that in a future video. So guys, thanks for watching this video about more advanced navigation here in our terminal and for learning about the manual commands, which we'll be consulting a lot in the future. And if you like the video, please hit the like button. It helps the channel out a lot. And also subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you're into Minecraft and are just finding these videos because you're into bash programming and stuff like that, go ahead and check out my Minecraft videos because we do all the fun stuff about programming in that game through command blocks. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.